Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover how to orchestrate a data build tool or DBT project using Airflow. DBT is a data transformation tool that allows us to transform our data using SQL. You can learn more about DBT and it's in the DBT series. Airflow is an open source workflow management platform for data engineering pipelines. We have covered Airflow and it's set up in this video here. We build a custom Airflow image and install all required libraries. Therefore, it's a prerequisite otherwise, some steps may not make sense. As usual links are in the description. We have also covered DBT orchestration via Daxter previously. You can check out that video if you are using Daxter. Anyways, this is our completed DBT project. We have modeled and transformed the raw sources using DBT in a Postgres database. Back to this video. We will build a custom Airflow image. This is our Docker file. It includes all the required libraries plus a few additional from the previous session. Our DBT project is housed in this directory. We copy it to the Docker containers in the Docker Compose file. Once the image is created, we build the Docker containers. This will create and start the containers. Once the containers are up, we can interact with them to check the setup. Let's explore the DBT project on the Airflow Worker node. First thing first, let's check the DBT version. We want to make sure it is compatible with the Postgres plugin. Now we locate the DBT directory and change directory to this folder. We list the files to make sure the DBT project is present. First thing to make sure our project can connect to the database. We can check with the dbt debug command. Next we compile the project, but first let's install the packages with the dbt depths command. Now we can compile the project. Everything looks in order. Now let's build it to make sure the solution builds and there are no errors. The project ran successfully. Let's review the Airflow DAG before we execute it. We import all the libraries at the top. We initiate a DAG and provide necessary configuration details. We run the dbt project using the dbt task group from the dbt Airflow library. We provide a group ID and using the dbt project config provides the dbt project path and project manifest files path. DBT requires the profile.yaml file to establish connection to the database. We provide the path to the profile file. To the DBT Airflow config, we provide the execution operator of bash. This means that DBT will be executed via a bash operator in Airflow. Finally, we call the run DBT variable. This will run the DBT project via Airflow DAG. Let's save this and give it a try. One plus point of this library is that all the dbt models execute individually. We can simply run the dbt commands via bash, but that won't provide this level of detail in the DAG. We see all the models and the test cases in the Airflow DAG along with the dependencies. Models are laid out in an organized manner. Anyways, let's trigger the DAG and see if Airflow can successfully run our dbt project. We trigger our DAG and the first run is underway. I have noticed an issue that on the first run, a new DAG runs twice. It is probably a bug with this release of Airflow and a few Google searches confirm this. Our models are running and once they are complete, the status turns green against the model name. We can click it to view the logs. This displays the detail and what bash command was executed to run this model. In addition, we see the model run and the usual dbt logs till the completion. Our DAG ran successfully and we can view it in its entirety. All the models completed successfully. We can trigger it again and this time around we will see only one execution. This is just to verify that it won't execute twice if we were to schedule it. This is how we can orchestrate a dbt project using Airflow. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this session. 
like share and subscribe take care and i'll see you in the next video